Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. So this question is on same thing, exercises, right? What type of exercises should I focus on at the gym, right? And this is a very common question I get because once again, bodybuilding has become so popular that if you go online and you put best exercises for chest, back, arms, whatever, you're gonna get a ton of exercises, a whole list of exercises, and it's very hard to you know prioritize and say, okay, what should I focus on or not? So my advice to you guys is this, right? From experience, right? Been doing this for a long time. Focus on three types of exercises. I'm not gonna say the exercises names. I'm just gonna give you the types of exercises, and it's up to you to go to your gym and see what they have, or see what your you know you're comfortable doing. You know, based on your injuries or you know preferences, things like that. So for every muscle on the human body, right, you only really need three types of exercises. One, you need a strength exercise. I call them strength exercises, right? That's compound movement, something that's gonna help you recruit as many muscle fibers as possible. Something that's going to recruit minor muscles to help you in the movement. So, for example, the bench press, dips, things like that. Um, and the purpose of that one is simply to increase your strength, right? To increase your strength, to increase your output, things like that. So, And it's also to increase bone density because if you're using, chances are if you're doing a heavy compound lift, you're going to be recruiting a lot of muscle fibers. You're going to be also increasing your bone density, which I made a lot of videos about. And that's crucial in growing bigger, faster. So, one compound heavy movement, right? You just need one. No, no, no need for two, especially if it's in the same plane. You know what I mean? So if you're doing, um, I don't know, uh, a rowing, you know, a horizontal row that's this way, and then you switch into another one that's like this way. I mean, that's, that's if you're competing. That's if you, you've been lifting for years and you, you hit a plateau, things like that. Yeah, that's when you might want to double up on exercises in the same plane. But if you're a beginner or intermediate or you just want to, you know, get bigger without worrying about detail, you know, every little detail. Focus on, you know, just one for each category. So one heavy compound movement. That's number one for every single muscle. So I'll give you an example. Again, chest, uh, dumbbell presses or barbell presses, uh, back, a horizontal roll for thickness, a vertical movement for width, um, uh, for biceps, you could do preacher curl, right? Uh, for um, not preacher curl, sorry, uh, barbell curl for legs, squats or hack squats, depending on your knees, things like that, right? For triceps, you might want to do dips or uh, close grip bench press, right? So number one, one heavy compound movement. The second type of exercise you should have for every single muscle is a stretching exercise. That's probably the most important one. For my experience, I find out that. You know, based on the provider principle, you know, I, you know, 80% of your efforts will come, 80% of your results will come from 20% of your efforts, right? So for every five exercises you're doing, only one of those exercises is really giving you a bang for your buck, right? And one thing I realized is heavy stretching exercises are legit for putting on mass. You know, I made videos about stretching, you know, years ago, but I might make another one uh, in the next few days. But um, you definitely want a heavy stretch exercise that has, that helps you, you know, control the negative, helps you stretch and um, you know pretty much puts a lot of emphasis on the eccentric part of the movement. So for chest, dumbbell flies, heavy ass dumbbell flies, so underrated today when it is one of the best mass builders for your chest, right? Uh, for back, pullover, right? It's gonna help you stretch your lats. Uh, for your back thickness, anything that allows you to stretch, you know, your wrong board and mid trap region, right? So anything that will help, you know, have you like the chest supported roll machine, you know, that will let you get, you know, get a good stretch. Or the dumbbell roll, you know, heavy dumbbell roll. Um, but make sure, remember, the, the point of this category is to emphasize the centric part. So you can jerk it up, make sure you leave it down in a controlled fashion and make sure you stretch at the bottom. Um, for, uh, for triceps, nothing beats you know, uh, French press or overhead press, whatever you want to call it, right? So overhead dumbbell extensions, you could do a two-handed to use more weight. So pretty much a stretching for delts. The best way to reach to actually stretch your delts is your real delts, right? I made a lot of videos about the importance of real delts if you want to grow your shoulders. So anything that allows you to really get a good stretch in your real delts, um, things like that. So number one, we have the heavy compound movement. Number two is obviously the stretching exercise. And number three is find you a good squeeze exercise right? I call those the pump exercises those are the, the exercises that help you maximize the pump right the exercises that help you get a lot of blood in the muscle help you squeeze the muscle you know help you get that mind muscle connection 
So for biceps, you got breach the curls. For triceps, you got the basic press down, the kickbacks. Um, for chest, you got the crossovers. You know, for, for legs, you got the leg extension. You know, for, for lats, you got the pull downs. For uh, back thickness, you got the cable roll. Anything that allows you to squeeze and actually have tension as you squeeze. So pretty much going to be a cable exercise, right? So number one is probably going to be a barbell or dumbbell exercise. Number two is going to be the barbell, dumbbell, or machine exercise for the stretching. And number three is going to be most likely a cable or hammer strength machine, all right? So three types of exercises you should focus on, whether you're doing splits or full body routine. That should, that should, you know, create hypertrophy across the spectrum. You're going to have damage from the stretching exercise. You're going to have high mechanical tension from the obviously heavy compound lifts. And you're going to have some kind of metabolic stress from the squeezing and the the cable pump exercises, the constant tension on those machines. All right, so I hope that answers that question. Uh, comment below. Again, I'm going through the list of questions. Really got a lot of catching up to do. You know, finals over, so expect a lot of videos from Team Beauty. Stay tuned, guys.